Hello and welcome everyone. This is the fifth part of my Intel user guide. I will go step by step explaining about submitting USMLE application. Along with that, I will also discuss about testing region change request and requesting a score recheck. The source of this video is straight from the official document released by the my Intel. If you want to download the PDF of the document, I can give that to you. Just join my telegram channel. I had uploaded the PDF on the same day it was released. I keep posting important files and updates which can be directly downloaded on my telegram and whatsapp channel. Don't miss out. Stay connected. Here is the link to all my socials. I will add them in the description of this video down below. As I said I had already uploaded the PDF file of the document released by the my intels on my telegram channel. Do check it out. We had already discussed about the first four topics of the my intel user guide. In this video I will discuss about the fifth one in detail. These are the subtopics that I will be covering. Let's see in stepwise manner. I will try to go faster so that I cover all the important part in a short period of time. Submit a USMLE application. Step 1. From the My Intel Applicant Portal in the top banner, click Services and then select ECFMG Certification from the drop down. Step 2. The ECFMG Certification page opens. Note that before applying for a USMLE exam, ensure the status of your application for certification case is accepted. This status can be found on the application for ECFMG Certification tab. Step 3. Click the USMLE application tab. Step 4. Review the information and click apply for USMLE. Step 5. The review your profile information page appears. Review your information and click next. If you need to edit your identity information or contact information, click cancel. To make any necessary edits, click my profile from the top banner and edit your identity information or contact information pages. This is how it will look like. Step 6. The review your medical education information page appears. Review the information and if the information is correct, click the I confirm the above information is true true and correct to the best of my knowledge checkbox. Step 7. Click next. Step 8. The provision of USMLE performance data notification page appears. Click the notification of provision of USMLE performance data to med schools checkbox to view a larger version of the document. Step 9. Review the document and click accept. Step 10. Click next. Step 11. The physician license in the United States page appears. Review the information on this page and indicate whether you have already been granted a physician license by a US medical licensing authority. If you have already been granted a physician license by a US medical licensing authority based on other licensure examination, Select the yes, I have been granted a physician license by a US medical licensing authority based on other licensure examination or by exception checkbox. An additional information box appears. Review the information and click the checkbox at the bottom of the pop-up indicating you read and understand the information. Note that if you are a medical student, it is very unlikely that you have already been granted a physician license. If you have not been granted a physician license by a US medical licensing authority based on other licensure examination, click the no, I have not been granted a physician license by a US medical licensing authority based on other licensure examination or by exception checkbox and click next. Step 12. The add exam page appears. Click add exam. Note that you may only add one exam at a time. Once an exam has been added, you may be able to add an additional exam. Step 13. The exam details page appears. Click the checkbox next to the USMLE step exam you want to take. Use the following instructions to complete the subsequent questions pertaining to the selected exam. After selecting an exam, if a red notification appears stating that you have already passed this exam, additional options will appear prompting you to select the applicable exception reason. ECFMG 7 year rule for medical licensing 
authority time limit once you have selected the applicable exception click confirm in the eligibility period information section select your eligibility period from the drop down select your testing region in the examinees with documented testability section review the question and select the appropriate answer if you select yes follow the on screen instructions for more detail step 14 once you have entered all information click confirm step 15 the add exam page appears review the newly added exam type under the your usmle application section if you are eligible to add another exam click add exam and follow the previous instructions if you would like to edit your exam details click the green pencil icon if you would like to delete your exam click the red delete icon step 16 click next step 17 the additional information page appears choose your native language from the select your native language drop down all other fields are optional step 18 click next step 19 the usmle application summary page appears click next important point to note is that this is the last opportunity to make any changes to your exam application before proceeding to the final steps this is how the page will look like step 20 the attestation by applicant page appears click the usmle application attestation checkbox to view a larger version of the document Accepting the attestation by applicant confirms your understanding and correct completion of all USMLE application questions. Review the document and click accept. Step 21. Click next. Step 22. The review your card page appears with a list of card items. If there are any credits in your financial account, click apply credits to use them. Click proceed to payment. Note that as stated on the screen, refreshing your browser page or navigating away from this screen using your browser's back button restarts your application or request. Click previous to return to any prior screens. Click your payment method, card or bank account. Confirm the billing address information is correct. Correct information as needed. Enter your payment info based on the payment method you selected. Click pay. When the payment is successfully processed, a thank you confirmation notification appears and an email confirmation is sent to your email address on file. If you are a student and your medical school participates in the My Intel Entity Portal, formerly known as EMSWP, a request is sent to the My Intel Entity Portal to verify your student enrollment status. If you are a student and your medical school does not participate in the My Intel Entity Portal, your Form 183 is available on the USMLE exam tab at the bottom of the screen. If you are a graduate, your application should be accepted within 24 hours. Step 23. Click Next to return to the home page. Now let's see the next part. Request a USMLE eligibility period extension. Step 1. Log in to the My Intel applicant portal. Step 2. From the top banner under services, select ECFMG certification. Step 3. Click the USMLE application tab. Step 4. Review the current exam applications section to ensure you are within the current eligibility period. Step 5. Under the eligibility period extension request section, click request an eligibility period extension. If you are not currently within the eligibility period, the option to request an eligibility period extension is not available. The section for an eligibility period extension request will only appear on the USMLE application tab if you have an active exam registration. Step 6. Review the previously entered identity information and contact information. Step 7. If no changes are necessary, click next. Step 8. On the eligibility period extension request page, select the exam you want to request an eligibility period extension for by clicking the appropriate checkbox. The processing deadline is the date by which the eligibility extension request must be accepted. If it is not accepted by this date, then the eligibility extension will not be provided. If you are a student, enrollment verification by the medical school is required to process the extension. The enrollment verification must be received and accepted by the processing deadline date. If you are a student and your medical school previously verified your enrollment electronically, once the request for an extension is submitted another request is sent to your medical school 
to electronically verify your enrollment status. If you are a student and your medical school verifies enrollment status via the paper process, once your request is submitted to extend your eligibility period, Form 183 is provided. This form must be signed and dated and then sent to your medical school. Your medical school must then send the form back to ECFMG. Step 9. Click Next. Step 10. Review the previous and new eligibility period information on the eligibility period extension request summary page. Once ready, click Next. Step 11. Review the attestation by applicant information by following the instructions below. Click the USMLE eligibility period extension request attestation checkbox. Review the attestation form and click Accept. Step 12. Click Next. Step 13. The review your cart page appears with an overview of your cart items. Step 14. Click to proceed to payment. Step 15. Select your payment method, card or bank account and then enter your payment information as required. Step 16. Click pay. Step 17. Once your payment is successfully processed, a thank you confirmation notification appears and an email confirmation is sent to your email address on file. It is recommended to document your case number for this request. It helps the Intel advisors quickly locate your case if necessary. Now let's see the next subtopic. Review the case status of an eligibility period extension request. Step 1. In the top banner, click My Cases. Step 2. Under My Case Request locate the eligibility period extension case type request from here you can review the case status and click the case number for more information specific to that case we have completed this subtopic now let's see the next one request a USMLE testing region change step 1 login to the my intel applicant portal step 2 from the top banner under services select the ECFMG certification step 3 Click the USMLE application tab. Step 4. Scroll down to the testing region change request section and click request a testing region change. Note that testing region change request will only appear on the USMLE application tab if you have an active exam registration. Step 5. Review your identity information and contact information to verify that it is accurate. Once ready, click next. This is how it will look like. Step 6. Review the information on the testing region change request page and click checkbox next to the exam you would like to change. Step 7. A list of available testing regions will appear below along with their respective surcharge. Select the testing region by clicking the circle next to the region. Step 8. Click next. Step 9. The testing region change request summary page now appears. Review the region fee information and click next. Step 10. Complete the attestation by applicant section by following the instructions below. Click the USMLE testing region change request attestation checkbox. Review the information and click accept. This is how it will look like. Step 11. Click next and continue to the review your cart section. Refer to steps 13 to 17 in section 5.2 for additional instructions on submitting your payment information. Review the case status of a testing region change request. Step 1. In the top banner of the My Intel Applicant Portal, select My Cases. Step 2. Under My Case Requests, locate the region change request. From here, you can review the case status and click the case number for more information specific to that case. Now let's see the next subtopic. Locate and download Student Enrollment Verification Form 183. If your school does not verify enrollment status electronically, you are prompted to download and complete paper enrollment verification form. The steps shown in this section apply to an applicant who has already completed the application for ECFMG certification as a student and the application was accepted. In addition, the applicant applied and paid for the USMLE exam. At this point, the paper student enrollment verification form 183 became available. Step 1. From the My Intel applicant portal in the top banner, click Services and then select ECFMG certification from the drop-down. Step 2. Click the USMLE application tab and scroll to the current exam applications section at the bottom of the page. Step 3. 
Click the download icon in the paper enrollment form column. Step 4. The student enrollment verification form 183 PDF file appears and is available to save. This is how it will look like. Follow the instructions provided with the form. Now let's see the next subtopic. Locate and download a scheduling permit. Step 1. From the My Intel Applicant Portal in the top banner, click My Cases. Step 2. The list of case numbers appears within the My Case Requests section. Step 3. Click the case number next to the exam registration case with the case status of registered. Step 4. The case information page appears. Click download. Now let's see the next subtopic. Locate and download a score report. Once you have received an email that your score report is available, follow the instructions below to view that report. Step 1. Login to the My Intel Applicant Portal. Step 2. From the top banner under Services, select ECFMG Certification. Step 3. Click the Exam Results tab. Step 4. The Score Reports section will display your score report if available. This score report is only accessible up to the available until date. This score report can be downloaded and saved by clicking the PDF file. Now let's see next subtopic. Request a score recheck. Step 1. Login to the My Intel Applicant Portal. Step 2. From the top banner under Services, select ECFMG Certification. Step 3. Click the Exam Results tab. Step 4. Scroll down to the Request a Score Recheck section and review the information. Click Request a Score Recheck. Step 5. Select the exam that you are requesting a score recheck for by clicking the appropriate checkbox. This is how it will look like. Step 6. Click Next and continue to the Review Your Cart screen. Refer to the steps 13 to 17 in the section 5.2 for additional instructions on submitting your payment information. Review the case status of a score recheck. Step 1. In the top banner, select My Cases. Step 2. Under My Case Request, locate the score recheck request. From here, you can review the case status and click the case number for more information specific to that case. Now let's see the next subtopic. A request to withhold exam results. Step 1. Log in to the My Intel Applicant Portal. Step 2. From the top banner under Services, select ECFMG Certification. Step 3. Click the Exam Results tab. Step 4. Scroll down to the Withhold Examination Results section. Click Request to Withhold Examination Results. Step 5. Review the information on the Request to Withhold Examination Results page. Once ready, select the exam for which you would like to withhold the results from your medical school. This is how the page will look like. The option to withhold exam results is only available once the applicant is registered for examination. The request to withhold exam results cannot be reversed and the medical school will be notified of the request to not have the results shared with them. If the applicant decides to withhold exam results and the medical school requires them, the applicant will later be required to request and pay for a USMLE transcript. Step 6. Click Submit. So we have completed all the subtopics under this topic. The other remaining topics will be uploaded in upcoming videos. Thanks for the support. Subscribe and share. Don't forget to join the Telegram and WhatsApp channel. Link is in the description.